Okay. What you're looking at here, if I could keep my hands from jamming up the leg, is a quadruped, four legs, using the fast-slow gear ratio. The leg design is uh, basically the Theo Jansen Strandis leg design, slightly modified. Let's turn that off because I keep getting my, my fingers caught in everything. But uh, if you watch that motion, you can see that when the small part of the gear drives the large part, that's the, the walking motion of that leg, so it has the most power. When the large part of this gear, this is a TT Blue gear, it's got the 1 to 94 ratio or 1 to 90, whatever it is, running on uh, two AA batteries. Uh, anyway, when the large part of the gear comes around, it's going to hit the small part of the walking gear, which means it moves really fast, and that's when the foot is being lifted up and shifted forward. Again, there's not, I didn't leave too many places to hold on to it without getting my fingers caught in stuff. So you can see how it quickly moves the foot forward and then slowly strides the foot back. So uh, these legs would be out of phase with each other and then of course your opposite sides you would flip around the opposite way. The hardest part was uh, getting the timing just right. I'm going to try and turn these gears like that. So basically when this large gear is facing down these leg gears are printed symmetrically so they have two holes so you have two choices of where to put them. So when it's facing down you want your two leg linkages and the two inner ones on the top. But when the large gear is facing up you want the two holes that are facing down towards the inside in order to keep everything in phase and, and working. It's not as stable as I would have liked but it does okay. Um, what probably would have helped it a little bit would be even a slower motor like the the old uh, 1 to 120 gear ratio yellow ones which are just too hard to find these days. So the only other way to really slow this blue TT down more would be to run these two upper gears on a shaft, put a gear on that shaft and then have this blue one drive that common shaft because then, then you could do another gear reduction. You could put a uh, very large gear on that shaft and a very small gear on the blue one and slow things down even more um, because that would get rid of some of the twisting and wobbling. And I didn't know how wide I was going to need to make the legs when I first designed it so I just ended up ex experimenting with different spacer lengths and uh, till I could get a stance because without those spacer lengths it, the legs would be really narrow, so the thing was real tippy. But that seemed to be the first place where things would start working. Um, haven't decided yet whether I'll put the files for this up on Thingiverse or if I'll keep playing with it to maybe gear it down like I was just talking about or make some other modifications. I think if I do put the files up on Thingiverse for you guys to make, then I'll probably do a build video. For so that might be your clue as to uh, when the files are out there.